Good morning. This is not an ad for Craftsman. This is just the uh, front of my toolbox. I'm the average DIY guy who also dabbles with a little bit of um, hobby stuff, a little bit of woodworking I've just gotten into now that I'm retired. And I just wanted to show you one thing that has helped me keep my uh, toolbox organized. Um, as you can see, this is a three drawer toolbox. I've got screwdrivers in the top. I've got channel locks, pliers, that kind of thing in the second drawer. And the bottom drawer is my socket set. Now again, I'm not an auto mechanic or anything else. So what I have is basically lightweight stuff. Um, quarter inch and three eighths drive sockets, both metric and SAE. And what I have done to keep them organized is I've taken plastic ice trays and I've cut them in half. I was lucky enough, I had to do a little bit of shaving on the sides as well, this part right here, so that the four trays would fit in the bottom drawer of my toolbox. I've then marked them SAE and metric on the front and then on the inside as you can see I have marked all of the separate compartments with the size of the socket. In the front I've got extensions, the ratchet handles, that kind of thing. Even one spark plug socket which I know I will never need because I don't work on my own car. God forbid I forgot how to do all that good stuff long ago. So basically four plastic trays with 32 sockets in it, 16 of each size, uh, size meaning metric and SAE. Um, and again, as you can see, each, each little tray is numbered with the size of the socket that's in there. So when I'm finished, whether I've grabbed one or two, three sockets to make sure that I get the one that I need, the one that's going to fit, then I just come back and put them in. Um, it took me all of 10 minutes to cut the silly trays down to size, maybe 20. Mark them all up and, and put the sockets in there. So again, just a uh, brief little video on what has helped me and may help you keep a little bit neater toolbox. Thanks for watching and have fun.